Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Mad Hatter with another Mad Hatter TV here with more gaming. Uh, while we're on the topic of gaming, if you didn't know, well, you're a little late, but <laughs> it was the E3 that took place in Los Angeles, California at the Los Angeles Convention Center, if I'm not mistaken. If people don't know what the E3 is, it is Electronics Entertainment Expo. So, that's where all the really cool gadgets and all the very neat games coming out to the uh, gaming world this year, next year, and so forth and so forth in history. Um, me being a game artist and game developer, um, is very honoring to uh, get a chance to really look at these things. So, um, today, I'm coming to you guys because I wanted to talk about something I've been meaning to talk about for a while since it's been released. Um, I'm talking about Street Fighter 4, no, excuse me, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. I mean, Capcom comes out with so many different uh, Street Fighters. You got... Alpha, you got Turbo, you got Hyper, HD, then you got, uh, what, Super? See, I lost count. Anyway, <laughs> we're talking about Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, and, uh, I'm really, really liking this DLC. The DLC is available now on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I don't know how much it costs on Xbox 360, but I do know on PlayStation 3 it is $14.99. So I was able to pick that up and you know have a look at some of the characters. Some of the characters that I was really hoping for, one in particular was Alina. Um, I love Alina. She was excellent player. Um, I would also would have liked to see Skullamania. Anybody remember Skullamania? Oh my god. That guy would have been amazing in this game. Or Relento. Or, um... Who's another good one? Alex. Alex, yes. He was a great character, and I was hoping that uh, he would have been added to the roster. But, unfortunately, only four made it, which is terrible. You're paying $14.99 for this, and you're only getting four characters. That's kind of lame. But, whatever, Capcom, you're just going to drain our money anyway. Um... So, I'm going to talk about the four characters. You got Yun, Yang, Oni, and Evil Ryu. In my opinion, Evil Ryu is overrated. But, I got a chance to play Evil Ryu, and Evil Ryu is amazing. I, I love Evil Ryu in this game. Uh, his specials and ultras, excellent. Oni, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, and my friends have been getting on me about this. I don't like Oni. I'm going to tell you why. Because it seems as though he's a little toned down. I was expecting to be able to do a um, up-in-the-air uh, Hadouken, double Hadouken, but I wasn't able to do that. And so it's just like, am I doing the hand movements wrong? Am I doing the move wrong? No, it's not there. And I'm just like, wow, okay. And I kind of expected them to do a little bit extra on the Raging Demon. And they kind of did and kind of didn't. So, I don't know. Only kind of toned down. I mean, like, I'd rather play with Akuma. Akuma is more fun to play with than Oni is. So, I was a little upset with that. Uh, some other things. Uh, let me see. Yun. Yun. I love Yun. I am murdering people online with Yun right now. <laughs> Yang. Yang is amazing as well. I kind of think that they kind of done a lot of things uh, like Gen, which kind of makes sense. You know, because Gen and uh, Yun and Yang, they're very much related. So, I used to play with them a lot 
uh, in previous installments. I can't really think of which one they were in right now. I'm kind of drawing a real blank. But, yeah, uh, those are amazing characters. Um, I'm having so much fun playing at the end. Uh, Yang, I don't play with as much. I, I still want to, you know, maybe secondary main him. Right now, my mains would have to be Ibuki, Makoto, Jury, or Yun. Um, those are the four people I mainly play with on Super Street Fighter 4. Uh, let me see. All the other characters have uh, gotten rebalanced. I know uh, that that was necessary. I'm finding it a lot more fun now. They also added this... What is it called? They, they renamed it now. It's... Uh, they have a new mode. I don't know what it's called. Um, geez. I did have the name of it. I'm so sorry. What was the name of that? Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> it was the Endless Matches. That's right. It's now an Enhanced Endless Battles. So, I don't really do those much. I don't really um, do too much online play. When I do do online play, I um, play it against friends that I have talked to on video chats and everything like that so we have a lot of fr uh, fun there and a lot of friends come in and sometimes I'll get together with my team and we'll do a couple battles but uh, online play you know it kind of bothers me and um, at least when I'm playing against my friends I know that their connections are really good so I don't have any lag issues you know what I'm saying but getting back on topic Super Street Fighter 4 is excellent in its own right. I just wish that Capcom would have added more players than just four. They give you four characters and they give you about eight avatars that you're probably not even going to use anytime soon on PlayStation Network. Um, I know I'm not. I mean, like, they're cool and all, but they're not extra characters. I would have liked extra characters. I would have really liked uh, Evil Ken. I mean, Evil Ryu, okay, that was great. But can I get an Evil Ken? Can I get, like, a, a Psycho Ch Chun-Li? Oh, my God, can you imagine that? A Psycho Chun-Li? Man, <laughs> that would be amazing. But, anyway, um, I highly, highly recommend you guys uh, pick up the Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. It's very fun. As for replayability, I'm going to give this DLC a definite 9 out of 10. The only reason why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 is because my girl Lena was not added and extra characters weren't allowed. It, uh, Aladdin was <laughs> allowed or added to the uh, roster. I'm hoping that they'll come out with more DLC characters. And as far as Capcom goes... You guys have been really limited on characters, especially in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but that's another story. Some of my characters didn't make it in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I probably will get back to that in another blog or whatever, but I'm going to cut this off. Go out there and get it. Meet me on uh, PlayStation Network, uh, Mad Hatter 1986. I'm going to put a little thing below and you guys can add me i need more friends on there anyway and that's it for now peace love unity respect i'm out